Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. If somebody's trying to do this with like different, this font and make, you know, like three different panels and have the font kind of flow, there's really no way that I know of to do it because if you have a frame around it, now if you don't have the frame around it, you could very easily have it flow, but then you're going to have open gaps and it would kind of defeat the purpose because then when you grab that and have it touch the next one, it would flow, but it's not going to, um, it's not going to do you, I don't see the advantage. Now that looks pretty cool and that would be the way they want it to look, but there's no way to do it and have like framework and do it like this. But this is pretty easy to do. And so I'm just going to move all these out of the way. And you can see the gentleman's tried it many times and he's doing a good job. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit P and put this in the center of the page for no more reason than I like working in the center of the page. It happens to be, well, I made it 18 by 10. And a couple ways you can do this. One, we need to, we're kind of starting over. I took his frame away. We need to take a two-point line and fill in this gap on both sides that have been trimmed away. <clears throat> and you could do it, probably the easiest way I know how to do it is take a box, a rectangle, and make it, and see he's got his set on fill. And also for you, I'm doing it for, I've changed your nudge factor to zero, zero, uh, or your duplicate distance, because that makes a big deal. So with your ratio lock, I'm gonna make this thing six by 10, and that makes it perfectly even in one third, and then I'm just gonna move that. And this is why control D would be so important. And then set your nudge distance on six inches. And if you made a duplicate of that, it would um, jump out of the way. So now we have three different sections. And then I think I've still got my nudge factor set on six. I'm gonna set it on like 11 and go down. I'm gonna take the smart fill tool and fill that in, move it over. Fill that in, move it over, fill that in, or move it down. So now we have three different blocks of letters that are actually separated. And if we left click, right click, you can see the separation line like that. So now I'm going to set my nudge back to, back to six. And I'm going to nudge this one. I'm going to, I'm going to go back to the center of the page. I'm going to go ahead and just delete that. I don't need that anymore. I'm going to nudge that up. I'm not even the center of the page, but at least I'm left or right center. And I am going to nudge that over and nudge this over. Whoop, wrong way. And I wish I hadn't deleted that. I shouldn't have deleted that box because we need that box. So this box is pretty important. I'm going to take this box and nudge it up. And because I'm nudging, I can nudge it right down, but I've changed my nudge factor. So let's, uh, because I changed my nudge factor, let's remember if we did it to 10, so I need to nudge that back down, change it to 10, and see if that doesn't go back to the center of the page. Nope, it must have been six twice. Nope, so it doesn't matter. What we can do is group this together, Control G, just go ahead and move these out of the way and move and then hit P and put it at the center of the page. Now we can take one of these reference blocks and we'll, let's go ahead and ungroup this. Group and ungroup. And now with set on six, I'm going to nudge that over six and that over six. I'm going to bring in one of these boxes and hit P. That put it in perfectly. I'm going to make a duplicate and move it over six. I'm going to make a duplicate of this and nudge it over six. And now we have our boxes. And we need to just go ahead and delete the lines we had in there. But before we do that, while we still have this box, let's make a duplicate and nudge it over. And let's contour it a half of an inch to the outside. That's gonna be our new box, our framework. Break the contour part. And then make a duplicate and nudge it over. Duplicate and nudge it over, duplicate and nudge it over. 
And now we have a framework so we can delete these interior lines to let the smart fill tool, and those are so close it just almost doesn't need uh, deleting. And then just delete that. And what this is doing, it's allowing the smart fill tool, tool to flow. And for some reason I'm reusing green, but I'm gonna smart fill it and nudge it down. Smart fill it and nudge it down. Smart fill it and nudge it down. And there you have your three frameworks. But like I said before, it doesn't really look good uh, to me, even if you, let's change our nudge factor to like a half an inch, 0.5. And if we take this board and nudge it up to there and then move it over five, so they'll all be kind of equal. It just doesn't look right. It's a good idea, but with the framework, uh, it's just not going to work. Unless somebody else chimes in, I don't know what else to tell the gentleman. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.